River guides and city officials are calling it a case of perfect timing. Just in time for the holiday weekend, the Provo River has dropped to normal levels. News specialist Lad Egan is live in Provo Canyon with more on this great news, Lad. Yeah, Dini and Micah, what a difference a few days makes. You know, on Sunday, this parking lot, this is an outfitter called High Country Adventures. This area was underwater. That included this uh, raft takeout area. And since then, there's been a drastic reduction in the water coming out of Deer Creek Reservoir. You can look at the river and how it's looking right now. Provo City saying we're back to normal flows and that typical summer water activities along the river shouldn't have any issues. Oh, it's fantastic. A little bit cold. The Law family from Massachusetts rafted the Provo River today. The water was, was perfect, good flow. It was just, uh, it was a lot of fun. We had a great time. Their visit to the canyon coincided with a return to normal water flows this week. They said they felt totally safe. A little bit uh, fast in some parts, which made it fun but never never felt like we were in any danger or anything like that. Provo City says the river peaked on Sunday at nearly 1,800 cubic feet per second. Now the river is flowing between 400 and 600 CFS. We're going to drive you up about six miles. You'll float back down and finish here. Spring has been a little bit crazy for us. Super high water. You guys good? High Country Adventure is excited for a return to normal business this week, just in time for the holiday weekend. While the water was high, we just did a lot of guided rafting, keeping people safe. But now that the water's back down, it's a lot more manageable for people that don't have the experience that our guides do. They can get down the river super easily by themselves. The lower water means they're now renting tubes again. Couldn't be better timing for us. We've been dying to get back to tubing for the entire summer. They hope the crowds return for the 4th of July and remind everyone floating the river on their own that it's the law to wear life jackets. Uh, all the snow melt's finally done, so I think we're, we're ready to go. Everyone's been super excited. All of our guides are super excited that the water's back down to normal levels. Everything's just safer, easier, better for everybody. All right, safer, easier. It sounds like we're set up for a good holiday weekend. And even with the higher temperatures expected this weekend, they're not expecting more runoff to impact the flows on the river here. And you know, Dini and Mike, High Country Adventures says they've been hoping, fingers crossed, praying for weeks that the water would finally go down. And it finally didn't. It was a very sudden drop just Sunday into this week that they have this uh, lower water level. So looks like we're ready to go. Yeah, just in time for the 90s coming yeah. up here. So all right, lad, <laughs> great <awesome>. story. <laughs> Thank you.